there's a drive. Quite sure, thank you. Hey. Thank you for helping me with my anger. Brother, the greatest journey you'll ever know is this one we call life. You already emerged from your cocoon. Now the question is, will you fly? Yeah, I don't feel any better. I'm still angry. I don't know why this lake house thing is driving me so crazy. Sorry we couldn't help you work through your problems. What is this? Pheromone signature left by his body. These are scent molecules. Punch up three. Ten years ago, one of his kind stalked and eliminated an elite special forces crew in Central America. Predator, 
You're the prey. We are certain that this being can see in only one spectrum of light. Infrared. Infrared. He hunts by seeing our heat. Block the heat is blind. His suits insulate all body heat, making the team invisible to the creature. We flooded the packing house with radioactive dust. We've also got ultraviolet lighting everywhere. The dust adheres to his body, making him visible. Big nitrogen. You're not gonna kill his asshole. You're gonna freeze him. Well, we have to capture him. He's moving. Finally. Grab a seat. below us. Holy cow. This cave is very important. Approximately 700 different scrolls were found in this cave, including fragments of the war scroll. What down what is that? That's a scroll that describes a 40-year-long apocalyptic war. And one of the famous lines from this scroll says, 
there shall be a war of terrible carnage. The sons of light shall battle the sons of darkness, and it shall end in eternal redemption. expectation. When you read the War Scroll, one of the interesting things is that it interweaves real and then what seems to us to be fantasy. The people who are leading them into battle are priests mm. who are dressed in priestly outfits. The fact that they talk about angels fighting in their midst, but the soldiers are equipped in the way that soldiers at that time were equipped. So you have a combination of what seems to be very real um, combined with things that to us seem to be imaginary. Like many doomsday cults, the Essenes believed the end was imminent and took precautions to be ready to meet God at any moment. This is one of the ritual baths here at Tehran. They literally believed that God's presence dwelled in their midst. I'll hold you tight. According to biblical Jewish law, if you enter the presence of the God of Israel, you have to be in a state of ritual purity.
I know, that's like the hilarious part. It's like a joke how long it takes to get here. It's like a meta comment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's what I said, yeah. I heard that Dave Eggers wrote a short story about this tape cassette that he found under that tree over there. Oh my god. Find your castle. So fun. The open house is now closed. We're not accepting bids at this time. The sun sets in 95 minutes. Good day. That cabin served an important purpose for me. As a quiet refuge from the nonsense of modern life. I'd like the next owners to understand and share that purpose. Find me someone like that, and I'll happily sell. I'll buy it. Can you afford that house? Can you afford that house? What would you use it for? I'd go up there and take Andy and Champion and just get away from everyone else and look at spiders. Ladies and gentlemen, you are now looking at the iridescent glow that is the Hermigan Ultra. The dance of interstellar dust within the supernova is what makes this site so rare and so popular among visitors to the Hermigan Aurora. Luckily for you folks on Dreamweaver 9, the conditions today are perfectly clear. Ideal for a sighting of this unique chemical miracle. I'll do that. Bit cool, aren't we? I like the ice floors. They're pretty. And we've got a pre-book wedding party heading to the Civil Nebula. Do they need a band? Already booked it from Primus Swim. I want you to take me on a tour to Earth. Did you hear them, man? Look close, sweetheart. Yeah, she's right. deaf. She's deaf. Closed, shut. No happy holiday today. She said she wants to go to Earth. But she's not deaf. She's crazy. Miss Gordon has traveled a long way from her home on Riga 2. She wishes to charter a ship to take her to Earth. Listen, my cranky little pal. We can't take Miss Gordon to Earth because Earth no longer exists. We don't take passengers to non-existent destinations. Strict company policy. Miss Gordon is 342 years old. She flew the craft personally to get here from Riga 2. Then she can stay the Primo cell fly back on tomorrow. She had me on her knee, and she told me about her life on Earth as a child. Her father had a cabin in the forest, a place called Carolina. The cabin was made of a wood called oak, I believe. He was a logger. He was a real woodsman. Had some opinions that wouldn't go down very well today. <laughs> my grandmother's name was Laura Cade. She married my grandfather, Bill Gordon. Hence my name, Irma Louise Gordon. She told me that there was a place about five miles from the cabin called Elk River Falls. It's a beautiful waterfall cascading into a natural pool of water so clear you could see the bottom.
don't really know if I should tell you this, but on summer days, she and Bill would head over to the falls and they would swim naked. She told me that was the best feeling she'd ever had. And I always remember thinking, I would love to see that place, to swim in that clear water. Elk River Falls, Carolina. Was it not to make you believe in God all over again? Kind of feels like I'm on the record. <laughs> like I've ended up in court somehow. <laughs> are you afraid to testify to your love, Mr. Norton? No, not at all. That would suggest that you are not certain in your choice. We just We just want Don't always want the same thing. That's all. She wants to be more central, doesn't she? Do you want this to meet him? Where's she go? Good night, young man. What a type is that? We change mildly blue light from meteor showers into chromatic heaven. We turn up the volume in tiny particle collisions and make them blast like stars exploding. We turn up the volume in tiny particle collisions and make them blast like stars exploding. I don't know if I make you believe in God all over again. We change mildly blue light from meteor showers into chromatic heaven. We turn up the volume.
I've been having a terrible trouble with this robe. Hooks and eyes are so rare today, and RB29 hasn't a clue how to dress a woman. You're probably wondering what this dress is and where I got it. wondering what this dress is and where I got it from. It's my grandmother in Carolina. I hang me down to my mother and I hang me down to my mother to me. I somehow kept the moth to dig it from devouring it. Nothing very special. But for this occasion. Would you? My grandfather would do this for my grandmother. My mother remembered it. Of course, Bill Gordon was quite a pioneer. He's the one that wanted to leave Earth for a minute, too. Back then, everyone was interested in adventure, the unknown. 